Hello, welcome to Clare Technologies. This is our first video in uh, JSON Logger topic. We have two parts of this video. So if you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe, share and like our videos. In this video, we will see how to uh, install this yeah how to install uh, uh, the uh, json logger into your any point platform and in our next video we will see how to utilize it so don't miss our two videos please subscribe to our channel and uh, let's get started okay so so before that uh, let's see if the json logger is already available in our uh, J, uh, exchange uh, i am actually logged in uh, with my trial account you can utilize this uh, json logger by using your trial account or your project account okay so see if i just searched it in my exchange by using json logger it is not available so uh, it means like uh, it will the mulesoft uh, team will provide you json logger code you need to install it in your any point platform manually uh, with your organization id and uh, so that that will be available to you only only for you if you need the you need to use that json logger you need to just uh, take it okay so uh, from github we need to download it before that uh, just create one folder in your uh, uh, workspace i mean in your laptop um, i am just uh, creating it like a json logger okay okay so i just created uh, one folder by uh, json logger with that name you need to just uh, get that code from gitlab that i mean github that is a public url they will provide i will ping you that url in our description box as well so you need to install uh, git bash or so you have to install your uh, git in your local first you need to just copy that url from the um, github account uh, you need to just uh, clone that uh, repository git space clone and just paste that url okay so it will uh, uh, get you the json logger code into your local system so it is done so now i got the json logger code in our in my my laptop okay so this is the first step you have to first uh, take that code into your local system then you need to deploy this into your any point exchange so likewise you need to just install that json logger into your specific any point exchange okay uh, so let's see how we can do so we can just uh, go through this json logger and template files folder you will see one settings.xml file here uh, you can just open it okay so here uh, we can see one uh, tag called server you can just copy this server with the exchange to okay you need to copy this particular server uh, block into your uh, local settings.xml so if you have installed maven already in your system uh, you will have uh, m.m2 folder I, I will show you how to uh, navigate to that so go to users uh, to your username this is your local system path okay you will find one dot m2 folder and you will have one settings.xml file here if you already used uh, maven if you don't find the setting.xml file here you can just uh, create a new file if you have an idea otherwise you can just uh, replace i mean you can just use the setting.xml file of the, this json logger code directly okay so as i have already uh, have this dot setting.xml file into my dot m2 folder i'm just opening that also okay so what i have to do i need to copy that uh, particular uh, server code that which is not uh, not there in my local settings.xml if you observe here i don't have that server tag in my local settings.xml file so i need to copy that uh, block of code okay i need to pay i need to paste it here under this server section you will by default you will find servers section in your uh, local settings.xml file also so you have to copy that from there and paste it here okay so here you have to provide you any point platform username and any point platform password which means with uh, with which user you logged in into your cloud hub account i have logged in uh, with my trial account so i need to provide that trial account username and password here you need to just delete that one just to provide the uh, trial account uh, username and password okay so i'm just uh, showing you it's, yeah likewise you, you will you will get the username like this by click on clicking on your name okay so just copy that and paste it here and uh, i'll stop the video for some time i'll paste my password here and i'll save the settings.xml file then i'll resume the video okay so under the username tag you need to paste it the username 
and uh, just delete the code uh, in the password you need to just give your um, any point platform password here okay if you have any other server attacks in your uh, local settings at xml file you can keep it or you can just delete it it's your choice okay so i'm uh, stopping this video here i'll resume it back once i provide my trial account so i stayed the stuff in settings.xml file uh, let's go to the json logger code and if you open that folder you will find one palm.xml file which is related to this code just open it by using notepad and you will see our id here our id token here group id okay you need to get this group id to run the code locally to deploy this uh, json logger into your anypoint exchange okay so how you can get this organization id token of your specific anypoint platform i'll show you okay you you no need to change anything here in this form.xml file once you run the code and once you deploy the json logger it will automatically modified in the back end okay so just go to your anypoint platform to get the organization id go to access management here you will find your organization name uh, i have created i mean my organization name is clat here while creating this account okay so if you are using your project specific account you can you, you may not have access to this you will just uh, ask your team okay see here in here organization id is there you need to just grab it here just copy it here paste it somewhere in the notepad you need to utilize this code while running the code to deploy the json logger into your anypoint exchange okay so just close the form.xml file you can uh, just um, go to the command prompt uh, this time we will see we will just uh, go to the uh, git bash git bash uh, command prompt here so just uh, right click here and uh, git bash click on git bash here it will uh, take you through the folder structure directly you don't need to navigate to the folder structure oh sorry here yeah. so e e here uh, you will find one uh, file called uh, deploy to exchange uh, this is shell script okay uh, let me just minimize this just uh, give me one minute yeah here if you can see this uh, into this json logger folder you will find deploy to exchange the shell script there uh, here you can just uh, right click and uh, click on git bash here so it will navigate you through the complete path you don't need to uh, uh, move to the particular path uh, by using uh, cd slash or something you don't need to do that okay so just go to that and copy this file name deploy to exchange this is the shell script we need to run this uh, shell script by using your organization id in order to deploy this uh, code into your anypoint exchange okay so just uh, paste the file name here and the dot sh because it is shell script and the space your organization id which you have copied over there in the notepad earlier just copy it yeah go to that uh, git bash command prompt so i did a small mistake earlier while running that uh, script uh, you can just copy that file name i mean the deploy to exchange and uh, the dot sh okay so before that you need to just give dot slash okay okay just uh, copy that file name dot slash deploy to exchange file name dot sh this is the shell script uh, file and space copy paste your organization id uh, which you have copied from your any point platform okay just copy it and paste it over there in the command prompt so paste it just click enter it will uh, actually see if you see the message it will deploying the json logger to exchange so it will take some time uh, let's wait how much time it will take uh, if it takes uh, mo more time i'll uh, resume the video will stop the video and i'll resume once it gets uh, deployed let's see what are the different dependencies it is going to add in the back end uh, because uh, so that you will have some better idea okay uh, let's see let's wait for a uh, couple of time and uh, let's see and uh, just uh, open this form.xml file now if you can see if you can observe here the form.xml file is uh, in the group id is overridden with your organization id by default you didn't change it manually okay so this is the thing which will uh, happen in the backend uh, 
so it is getting deployed it may take much time let's wait one or two minutes otherwise we will stop the video and we will resume the video once it is getting deployed it is actually going to add all the dependencies uh, to your pound.xml file and your uh, json logger code all the needed uh, repositories and dependencies then it will uh, uh, build the code and then it will deploy the code so once it is getting deployed then you are able to see the json logger in your any point platform with your uh, particular username so i think it may take much time let's uh, stop the video here and uh, let's uh, resume it once uh, it is getting deployed Meanwhile, uh, let's uh, go to our AnyPoint uh, studio and uh, let's create one uh, project, one new project with the name of JSON Logger in order to demonstrate uh, this uh, project. I mean, this JSON Logger feature. Okay, I just clicked on a new project and uh, I'm going to create one project with the name of JSON Logger. No, you don't need to um, create or change anything here. Just uh, provide the name and click on finish. So, new project is getting uh, created. Uh, if you can see, the JSON logger is not available here. You will see by default the normal logger component, uh, which is the default component in uh, Microsoft. So, now we have um, actually deployed that JSON logger into our AnyPoint platform. Let's see uh, if it is, yeah, the build success. It means the your connector, the JSON logger is successfully deployed into your exchange. Let's verify that first, then we will go back to our uh, studio. Go to exchange and uh, yeah you will see the json logger connector with your name see if you can observe here it's a class technologies in the cloud technologies assets you will find the json logger here not in the mule soft because you deployed it by you, your own so if anyone need to use the json logger they can deploy it by their own uh, if you can open this uh, connector you will see the documentation you can just add the documentation details if you want it is the latest version of 2.0.1 which is uh, generated by uh, MuleSoft. okay so let's uh, back here and uh, yeah here by default uh, json logger is not there you need to add it manually by click on the search in exchange here because uh, now the json logger component is available in your anypoint exchange you need to add that uh, credentials to your anypoint studio and you need to import that uh, json logger into your studio then only you are uh, good to use that uh, component in your system okay so let's add that just click on a search in exchange which is available here in the mule palette the top so click on uh, search in exchange it will take you through the page where you need to add your any point platform account the one which is showing is the old one so i am going to add my new account so just click on add account click on configure okay just expand it uh, it will uh, show you the browser of any point of platform where you need to enter your username and password uh, let's go back to my cloud hub platform let's me let me copy the username okay just uh, copy it and uh, go to your studio you can uh, just paste paste it over there in that uh, browser yeah here the browser is there right so you need to just paste the username and password you need to just log in into your any point platform here by using um, uh, i mean any point uh, studio so i'll pause it uh, here i'll uh, paste my so i have entered my password and i'll just click on sign in it will the account is i mean the uh, my any point platform account is getting added to my any point studio so see now if you can search uh, here in the search box with the json you will see the json logger component which is added by you the publisher name it will show you your username clat not the mule soft see json logger publisher is clat because you exported you published it in your exchange so just click on add it will add you the dependencies to your uh, project in palm.xml file and then uh, the json logger component is available in your mulesoft palette now
okay so just uh, click okay it will take a uh, little time to add the dependencies and all into your project so yeah let's wait so once this is getting added to your any point platform you are good to use this uh, component so by using this component we can get a lot many information about your logs so instead of using a default logger component you can prefer this json logger component where uh, you can find more information about your logs like the location information where the logger is located and the tracing information at what position the logger is there at what line the logger is going executed and what not we can do lot many things with this uh, json logger component these features are not available with the normal logger component we will see the differences uh, how the logger uh, normal logger component will behave and how the json logger component will behave we will see one by one so now let's see yeah if you can observe here the json logger component is available in your mule soft mule palette uh, let's uh, drag and drop that component and uh, we will see the differences from the logger and the json logger uh, before that uh, actually you can uh, you can if you have any um, any requirement like to disable some fields or uh, just to mask a few fields like uh, to password protection password fields or any other fields if you would like to mask it in your logger you can achieve that also by using this json logger okay just to drag and drop the json logger here this is a normal logger we can just double click on it it will show you the properties of normal logger it won't have much properties it will have the log level and text message and uh, category that's it but if you can see the json logger you will see uh, message and some configuration you have to add and the content you can see the default by default it will add the content as a payload and json logger will convert that uh, everything into string so you can add the trace point and everything okay so let's see how to use this json logger in our next video so please subscribe share and like our videos thank you